Hello, my name is Roshni, and today I'm going to be telling the story Beauty and the Beast. Once upon a time, there lived a merchant and his three daughters. One day, the merchant said, I'm going on a long journey. So he asked what their daughter wanted on his return. The first and second daughter said they wanted lovely dresses. But the third daughter, Beauty, said, Father, get me a rose. So the merchant said goodbye and left for his journey. The merchant got all the things for his elder daughters, but he couldn't get a rose for his daughter, Beauty. When he, when he was coming back home, he found a huge castle. When he went closer, the huge castle was surrounded by a rose garden. So he thought there he could get her a rose for his daughter, Beauty. So he plucked a rose. Suddenly, a furious-looking beast dragged out of the bush and roared. Why did you steal my flower? I will kill you for this. The merchant begged the beast, let me go, let me go, don't kill me. My three daughters are waiting for me at my house. I plucked this rose for my daughter, Beauty. The beast said to the merchant, I will let you go for one condition. You have to let your da daughter Beauty stay here. The merchant promised and left home. When he came back home, he told all about the beast and the promise to his three daughters. But Beauty said, Father, you have to keep your promise, so let's go. So the merchant left Beauty in the castle and went home. Beast treated Beauty very well. He even gave her a magical mirror so that she could see her father. Beauty was first afraid of the beast, but slowly she began to like him. One day, the beast asked Beauty, will you marry me? But Beauty said, I can't marry a beast. One day, Beauty saw in the magical mirror that her father was ill. <coughs> so she told the beast all that she wanted to go visit her home. The beast said, will you come back in a week? I would be glad to come back in a week. Come back in a, come back in a week or else I will die with sadness, said the beast. Beauty promised and left home. All went fine, and her father soon recovered. But it was more than a week. Suddenly, Beauty remembered that she promised the beast. So she told her father, I have to go. I can't let the beast die. When she came back to the castle, she saw the beast lying on the floor. Oh, my beast, I'm here for you. I love you and I will marry you. The beast miraculously changed into a handsome prince. I was cursed all these years can, and can only be relieved when someone fell in love with me. Now I'm cured of the curse because you truly love me. The prince and beauty married and lived happily ever after. The moral of the story is we must not judge a person by their looks. The real beauty comes within. Thank you.